You're listening to the Davy Mac Sports Program on the Riotcast Network, riotcast.com. Oh, man. What's wrong, Pepper? Davy Mac, I'm looking to buy a new car, and the process is just such a hassle. There's got to be a better way. Oh, there is. TrueCar.com. At TrueCar.com, you can actually see what others paid for the car you're looking for in your area. So you know when you're getting a great price, Pepper. TrueCar.com. So I have to go to TrueCar.com and it'll make this process easier? Easy peasy. Go to TrueCar.com, get a savings certificate, and just take your savings certificate to the True Car Certified Dealer so you don't need to worry about the hassle and anxiety of the old way of buying a car. And True Car users save an average of three thousand dollars off msrp pepper three thousand dollars i've only just heard of truecar.com and i feel my anxiety disappearing i have no anxiety because of truecar.com why wouldn't you go negotiation free guaranteed savings hassle-free experience and a true car certified dealer that is committed to a new and better way to buy a car save time save money never overpay truecar.com david mack i'm going to truecar.com right now Great job, Pepper. It's the Davy Max Sports Program. Behind the back, it gets through Buckner. Here comes Knight, and the Mets win it. The band is out on the field. He's going to go to the end zone. He's going to go to the end zone. The Bears have won. The Bears have won. Oh, my God. It's the Davy Max Sports Program. What? What? On Riotcast.com. That's right. They got a whole new website. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and here's your host, Dave McDonald. Yeah, big round of applause. Yeah. It's just a bigger round of big, well, bigger, bigger round of applause. Yeah. Like, ah, bigger, bigger than that. Yeah, that's it. That's better. Eastside Dave, Davey Mack, that's what they call me. They call me the sports master. With me, as always, Chris Pepper Stanley. I took the under in the George, in the uh, Germany game. I lost a lot of money. You, you are not good at soccer. Also with me, the master engineer extraordinaire, the guy who gets it done week in and week out, Sean O. Sean O. It's Sean O. Back in the methadone clinic because his scabies have taken a turn for the worst. Roy Schaefer is not here with us tonight. Oh, but skinny man intern and guitar virtuoso, Chris, yeah, Chris. Yeah, Chris. is here. Chris, great name, Chris. Yeah. That's Love your it. real name, right, Pepper? Yep, that's my real your name. Your real name is Chris. No, yep. it's not. Really, what a pussy name, huh? Oh, Dave's a real manly <laughs> name, huh? David. My name is David. Even it means, worse. It means <laughs> beloved in the Bible. Even worse. Beloved. And what's Chris mean? Of Christ. Chris that, means, that, that tops beloved. Cokehead is what it means in the Bible. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. Pepper has, doesn't touch the stuff anymore, and that's why we love him so much. Um, anymore. LeBron James. LeBron James. You don't want to talk about Germany. This just happened right before we came on. Germany destroying Brazil. Well, 7-1. I get confused. Are you allowed to talk about World Cup on I this am, program yeah, I, now? I, I, well, it was just that one week. Really. Okay, so uh, Germany is. Uh, uh, I tune into the game. What felt like four minutes in, and Germany was up <laughs> five to nothing. Yeah, I believe fast. they win seven to one. Is their final score? Yeah, Little really. Gaby baby. Who didn't even show up tonight, this son of a bitch. But meanwhile, he's texting me left and right. So the Dave man can't even get a goddamn nap for himself. And he's texting me all these little things like Miroslav, some yeah, German whatever. guy. Just At tw- 24 minutes in, it was 3-0. They, they just scored the third goal. 
turn my head away from the TV for five minutes. It's twenty nine minutes in. It's now five nothing. Five to I, nothing. I thought, no, that's a, that can't be. I'm misreading this. Yeah. I thought Brazil was supposed to be good. I had the same feeling. Uh, you know, Pepper. I know they're they're good at hiding Nazis, oh, but God. you know, they're we're talking best. about soccer here, pal. We're not talking about apt pupil. Well, they lost their dude, Neymar, and their captain. Oh, they lost Neymar. <laughs> Tough. The Red Sox lost Nomar, and they won three championships. So let's not, uh, you know, uh, give me excuses. Well, apparently, apparently, America, no. by the way, yeah. in retrospect, why wasn't Landon Donovan on the goddamn team? The only guy who could score goals, apparently, well, for, well, for America. Look, we had our screw up, right? America's gone. Let's not that was a, a catastrophic meltdown by the United States of America. We made it pretty far. And, and I know people want to say this Tim Howard with the goalkeeping and this and that. But it was, I mean, and how this kid missed that shot. Uh, oh my God! That chip oh, shot, yeah. right that in front chip of the shot goal. with thirty Stop seconds it, left. Yeah. God damn it! Ridiculous. So for this Brazil German game, like really just laughably bad. Germans, they're strong. They are certainly efficient. Uh, they they run things. They do things. Blonde. And they always advance in the World Cup. And this is why, when I played nineteen ninety six Nintendo sixty four FIFA soccer, I only play with Germany, baby. Because of games like to the Nintendo 64, FIFA Soccer 97, you could get Germany. The new FIFA. Germany. I don't go Brazil. And now, all these years later, Davy Mack has turned out to be Soccer Master. Thank wow. you very much. You're far from it. Do I always pick to play Germany in the video game? Do I do that? I don't know. You just say it right now. You never talked about it before. It's true. As long as, long as I've known and Guess you. what? I was lying. I'm I was lying I'm right known. there. Yeah. Oh, I know. was. Yep. Damn. Yep. Yep. I take Poland in FIFA soccer. I don't even take Germany. I don't even take Brazil. I take <laughs> Why Poland. Why are you saying it like that? That's how the announcers on ESPN were pronouncing it. That doesn't mean you have to do Even that. Mr. Neil Everett, the, uh, the guy who started, how's it? Uh, says, he calls him Brazil. Is Bra the guy that uh, was, mem remember during the Olympics, the dude that was announcing curling on ESPN? Do you remember yeah. that guy, that weirdo? Is yeah, he, that guy is was he, good. Is he still around? <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure to bring her back, uh, bring him back for the Winter Olympics or no, Summer I'm Olympics. He should be doing the World Cup. He should be doing everything. <laughs> that guy was great. Well, Fox has the next World Cup, and they're going with that guy. Uh, I always forget name. Kevin, uh, whoever. He New made, Banks. He made his name through March Madness. He was like the guy, and part of it was luck. He always seemed to have the close, awesome March Madness game. Yeah. And then part of it was he he does a great job. Kevin Harvick or something like that. I forget his name. And he does a great job announcing. So they're trying to transform an American guy. That's one of the criticisms that I saw somewhere where they said the, the key for America to get better at soccer is start making it an American version of soccer. Don't have two British guys on ESPN calling at the pitch, saying two, two, right. two, two nil. Dude, I, it's yeah. two nothing. Yeah. We don't, don't say, say nil, nil in this goddamn country. No, I, you, really? You think, I think the British announcers you say are better. Nil? No, they, 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 Get better. American they have more God personality. Yes, yes, yes. But the fatso in, God in Nebraska who's turning on World Cup every four years, he doesn't care about anything, just wants to see red, white, and blue do well, that guy wants to hear American announcers. Well, that I'm guy's an idiot you. because the, and be the better announcers are the British guys. Then you'll never Far grow none. the sport, Peppy Ham. I, I don't have a stake in it, so I don't care. I know when I'm watching soccer, the British guys are better at announcing it. The next reason why America will never... And by the way, this, I'm calling it right now, right here on the sports show. This will be the furthest America advances ever for the rest of our lives <laughs> until we all die of really? nuclear holocaust in 2048. I think they're only getting better. I think every year they're going to get a little better. Never. And I'm going to tell you why. It dawned on me when I was uh, up in the smoke zone at 3.30 in the morning oh, just thoughts. sitting there listening, watching 2001 A Space Odyssey. I, still? You're still watching No, that. I got back into it because the other day I was at Walmart. Yeah, I'm a class act. And I found in Walmart four Stanley Kubrick movies on... In the same package for seven dollars on Blu-ray wow. or DVD. Uh, on on DVD. You're the last person to buy <laughs> DVDs. You know how sad it, that Barry is. Barry Lyndon, two thousand one, um, The Shining, and Eyes Wide Shut. Don't you own all those movies already? Besides, maybe. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
But I, but I got this specifically for the smoke zone, so I never have to go into inside go. and bring the movies back out to the smoke zone. It can just sit there in the smoke zone forever and ever and ever, yeah. and it will. You're frugal. Oh, yeah. I'm real frugal. So I just sit Dave, there. Dave, how far away is the smoke zone from your living room? Oh, to 15 feet, 20 right. feet. Yeah, Save it's right there. Save yourself some time. Then. Yeah, this yeah. Is, this is a sad thing. Oh, me. yeah, it's I really pathetic. It's, I don't like walking. Unless I'm jumping with my dumbbells. <laughs> but besides that, I'd rather someone carry that, me. That, the like, sickness and starvation is making you look real good. I know. Everyone tells me I look really good or AIDSy. <laughs> I'm like, why can't I look good and AIDSy? Sort of like a Greg Luganis thing. That's how or I a Magic Johnson type yeah, of deal. You're yeah, handsome guy and AIDSy. Big deal. Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> um, this is why America won't, won't ever have a great soccer team. Because of the announcing. No. Because LeBron James... And uh, Victor Cruz. Don't play soccer. Exactly, my yeah. friend. And until our best athletes play soccer, and the reason why our best athletes aren't playing soccer, you think that LeBron James or, or his family is going to tune in to some waspy British guy talk about the pitch and 2 nil? And I, can, I barely can take it. Our best guys are not going to sit there and watch British people. And then Brazil is up. Uh, Germany looks like they have a good pitch. Oh, he's crossed it. He's crossed it to Mackenstein. No one wants to listen to that. I do. I think it's better than American announcers. You know You're wrong. No, who's American? John Madden, baby. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's Madden. weird. Right, boom. Right? Right. Yeah. But, but, and here's a hot dog. Right? Remember he would circle the hot dog? Love a hot dog right now. I liked it when he would circle random objects. Oh, that was the best. And he, it, that was like his little comedy piece. I wonder what he's doing right now. Here, I'm walking this. Oh, this guy, look at his hat. And he circled the guy's hat. Yeah, we can see it, John. It's on TV. They, they, have, they have a close-up of the guy. He's the only guy in the shot, John. You don't need to circle the guy's goddamn hat. Well, speaking of... Uh, I was looking at it already. Speaking of people in the crowd, did you see the uh, dude suing John Crock, ESPN, yes. Major League Baseball, the Yankees, for um, people busting his balls? Yes, he I do. Asleep during the game. And I have a to Yankee say... Game. Is that right? So goddamn disappointed in this pussy <laughs> who is suing... Baseball and the Yankees. You fell asleep, sir. What, is John Cruck not supposed to talk about it? Sean, no, we do have the audio, I think. We do. All right, we'll, um, we'll see, check it out. Well, he's getting the audio. Like, I read his statement. I think this guy is, like, kind of like special ed a little bit. Oh, now I feel terrible. Okay, I was I, going to call no, names. No, 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 no. I'm not going to call names I, I, don't, I don't know this for sure. <laughs> I don't know this for sure. I'll throw that out there also. Well, if he's special ed, though, he is he savvy enough to sue $10 million or his parents put him up to it? Is that I what you think? I don't know what happened, but he, he's gone saying that like, this has uh, caused him great emotional stress. No, it does. I hate and people. And that he, he says that people you know, people on, mess, on, on comment sections of wherever his video was posted are, are you know making him feel bad about himself. I was basically. accused of falling asleep at the Super Bowl. Okay. It looked like you were falling asleep, dude. I was looking down. Okay. <laughs> All right. Davy Mac was a mess that fair, day. Fair enough. That was, I a, was that was a still. This is video. That was the closest I ever uh, came to becoming Hunter S. Thompson. Where I got, I decided at nine I can't in the morning. Even imagine. At nine in the morning on Saturday, when I'm flying out to Indianapolis, I go, you know what? This is good. If we're gonna do Super Bowl weekend, Rip we're it. gonna do it right. Rip it. And I'm sitting in first class because I was fortunate enough where there was a seat debacle, and I start. Just drinking goddamn Jack Daniels at nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Meanwhile, the girl gives me my first Jack Daniels bottle, and uh, I take out five dollars and I go, "Is it? Do you want oh, this? Dude, no, or, no, like, how, how much is it? Freebie, and dog." She, she goes, "It's free." Have you ever sat in first class before? No, wow. actually, Damn. you're making me feel bad. That's not first class treatment. I was like, "No, bitch." But I'll tell you what, now that I'm here, give me a goddamn handy, too. Shake I'll, that I'll ass. give you five bucks for that. Shake that ass, give sweetheart. Me five bucks for that ass shaking, tit head. Good you one. don't belong in first class. <laughs> first of all, Literally I'm going to start calling uh, people who I don't like of the female persuasion tit head. That made me laugh, at least. Um, so, anyway, that's idea. why we're not ever going to be good. In soccer. We're not but talking about soccer. We're here's talking, the we're guy. Talking about this. Here we go. Rockets have reportedly offered unrestricted free agent Chris Bosch a max contract it. of four years and ninety million dollars. No, this like is some crazy, uh, crazy thing here, Sean. Maybe Just ESPN. search New York Yankees lawsuit. Um, the video will come up everywhere. Can do. S search the guy. It was ESPN. Ten million dollar lawsuit. Yeah. So this this guy passed out. He's a Yankee fan. But yeah, John Crock. Embarrassing, dude. <laughs> you're a Yankee fan, and you're 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 falling asleep. 
And let's be I think honest. He slept through a home run. Let's be honest. I don't want to get sued by this gentleman, but he was portly. He had no one sitting next to him. It was just a pathetic look. And he's suing? Yes, this, this guy's a I should sue. How good it is. Here we go. Join the millions of subscribers, maybe even this, this is guy. It. Watch every out of market game live in true HD on over 400 devices. Visit MLB.tv for details. Sometimes you have to turn it off, get some <laughs> sleep. Ooh. It's not the place you come to sleep. I tell you what, though, how comfortable is that? There's nothing wrong with that. Any neck problems tomorrow? <laughs> I mean, is that guy to his left his buddy who's just letting him sleep, or is he here alone? <laughs> What's the deal with May, this guy? Maybe he, maybe that's his buddy, and he likes him a lot better when he's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny to me. I think the other guy's really more concerned with the food and the game. And uh, chicken yeah, fingers yeah. are a special item at the. Bar. Yeah, that's that's all. That's all we needed, Sean. Thank you. So the, you know what? So he's mad because they they made fun of his friendship. With his with his pal, he was sitting at the game with. He's also mad that the that because MLB posted that audio or the video rather, um, and ESPN put it on the on the screen that people in the comment sections of all these things are defa defaming him, not defaming him. I'm not sure. The Don't look at the comment section, <laughs> nitwit. <I'm not> <laughs> Looking at the comment section, if I did that, I'd jump off a bridge nine yeah. years ago. You don't look at comment section. Well, plus they kind of they kind of included him in like a, an advertisement there. They were talking about, you know, get the on this channel. The guy got 15 minutes of fame. What's he complaining about? If I were him, I'd, I'd turn this into like I'd fall asleep everywhere, like an autograph signing. I'd just fall asleep and somehow sign autograph. I'd go to, a, you know, speaking engagements. I'd fall asleep. I would just keep doing that. Yeah. The guy just found his little character. I don't know what he's complaining about. It's true. Sleep sleepy, sleepy the fat man. Yeah, sleepy <laughs> fats over there. Sleepy fats. <laughs> hey, sleepy fats, stop suing everyone. Piece of garbage. <laughs> you fat bastard. You fat freaking bastard. <laughs> oh, sleepy fats. And it just makes Yankee fans look bad. You know, Sean O's a Yankee fan. Yeah. Pepper's wearing a Yankee hat tonight. What up? Meanwhile, I'm wearing a Yankee golf shirt. You think we could have a little more objectivity in this room? Oh, my God. <laughs> um, we're, the, we're just the worst. But I will say, as a Yankee fan, this is the type of guy who I don't appreciate. First of all, do you think he was just boozed up? Or is that just one fat bastard who just, you know, he falls asleep wherever he goes? Dude, I, th I honestly think I read his... I'll, I'm gonna, I'll look up his actual, like, the complaint... I think he's kind of special up. Like, he, uh, like there's, I think there's something wrong with this. All right. He's got narcolepsy. Like River Phoenix in my own private Idaho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like is, is he also a male prostitute? Yep, yep. Like River Phoenix in mm -hmm. my own private Idaho. Yeah. Will he have sex with Keanu Reeves? Well, then he's you? exactly like River Phoenix in my own private Idaho. Oh. Exactly. If this guy heard us talking, he'd be suing us. Me but try getting $10 million out of this rinky-dink circus. You're lucky if you get some goddamn Slim Jims and a few gummy bears. He'll get a half a bag of Cheetos. Yeah, and he'll be fat. happy. Yes, you will, you pig. <laughs> fat, what's his name? Fatty? What is yeah, it? Fat Sleepy or whatever. Sleepy Fats. Um, all right, hold on. Here, here is... Uh, all right, he claims they unleashed an avalanche of disparaging words. We just heard it. It's not avalanche. Um, and they were false words. statements. All right, all right. his typo-ridden suit... Says Shulman and Crocs false statements include suggestions that Rector is not worthy to be a Yankee fan and is a fatty cow that needs two seats that need two seats at all time and represents symbol of failure. It's just it's like someone who can't write. Well, but they did not say that. They but, did not say he's a fat cow. No, but they who hit the nail on the two head. Seats. Right, here's, here's, there's more. It, the complaint also says he was made out to be a confused individual that neither understands nor knows anything about history and the meaning of rival, rivalry between Red Sox and New York Yankee. I'm reading this verbatim. This is how this is his criminal his complaint was. Oh, you suck. This guy's not even good at writing on a goddamn keyboard. It's 2014. You don't have spell check, sir. As a result, the used car dealer claims to have suffered substantial... Oh, that's what's wrong with him. You're right. <laughs> he, he is mentally impaired. He's a used car salesman. He says Chauvin and Crocs false... Uh, uh, he's, had, he's had suffered su uh, substantial injury to his character and reputation. I'm glad. As well as mental anguish, loss of future income, and loss of earning capacity. What was his future income going to be? Staying awake at baseball games? It was a commission off a 97 I, Subaru. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what? I mean, Dude, first of all, chillax. 
No one's buying one of your awful cars and they're going to instantly recognize you. You're going to be wearing a suit. No one's going to say, oh, you're the fat guy. It's Sleepy Fats. Most people weren't watching that game. A, B, if they were watching in the New York area specifically, the game was blacked out on ESPN. So a lot of these people, I didn't even see this clip until this bozo sued him. Yeah, and then in the story, they showed the video clip. I didn't even see the clip because the game was blacked out, and I'm watching on Yes. That's what's up. Well, Yankees it's Entertainment, you know, channel. Station. I think it's funny that, you know, anyone that falls asleep in general around your friends, if you fall asleep first... There's, you're, swa- there's yeah. swastikas being drawn on your forehead. The guy's lucky you fall asleep on live the- TV in a place that actually broadcasts live television? Look, of course. if this guy was at my house, I'd be putting my dick in his mouth. There we go. What? What? Give me a stinger. Yeah, all right. <laughs> what the hell was that? Where's Roy? What was that, Chris? Get Roy's closer. got the DTs. Is Chris going to get a new nickname? There's already a Chris. Is it Chris Pepper. Pepper. It's Chris Salt, my other buddy that came by one time. You tried calling him Chris Salt. <laughs> what, what, what's your name going to be? Why don't I call you Jeff Tweedy? All right. You kind of remind me of that guy. There you go. I'll just call you Wilco for short. <laughs> um, Wilco, Stinger. Wilco and I actually have a song prepared, Pepper, but oh, I want you to guess it. Okay. Okay? Um, <clears throat> The Nirvana one. <laughs> Did you hear that, Pep? <laughs> you didn't hear that, right? Hear what? <laughs> okay, the Nirvana one. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Well, drums, buddy. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> My drummer's pouring beer into his gut glass. And putting it on top of the equipment. <laughs> Put it on his own goddamn thousand dollar equipment. I won't bend into my head and tie. He will tell. My favorite Nirvana song, actually. Yeah? Hold on. I've been down in fat, sleepy, and sleep. This is the words, too. Be fast. I will fall in eat your cancer when you turn black. Hey, wait, I got a real complaint. Forever I'm dead, your pride is mine. Hey, wait, I got a real complaint. Apologies. Play all apologies. Chris, do you know all apologies? Well, so f- well, all right, a little heart shaped box. Well, good night for that medley. Woo! I was thinking we were going to do a heart shaped box into all apologies medley, the way me and Roy, you know, we always work out at least a double song. Look, it's Chris's first day, yeah, all right? Just pretty chill good, out. Actually. Yeah. So far, Chris is like that fat Yankee bastard, sleepy fat people. Sleepy fats is how you're talking about. You're right, Chris. You know what? You did a good job. Yeah, you were All right, right Pepper. Name this his, one. I thought his name was going to be Name this Wilco. one. Don't listen. Don't turn it. Take I, your earphones off. They're off. They're off. At, um, Foo Fighters ever long. Go ahead. Yeah. I would have preferred Big Me. You know Big Me? Jesus Christ. Christ. You know, he knows one song per Christ band. Wilco. He knows one song per band. <laughs> hey, now. And I can be you in. Ever long tonight, I wanted you to feel how suck my dick, touch my dick, <laughs> and I wonder when I see along with you, everybody that I feel this way for. Everybody never feel this good again The only thing I'd ever ask of you Got a promise not to stop when I say that my dick He said Wow, now he's on it I think Chris got it with uh, Everlong Did you guess it? I thought it was Big Me Did you get Oh yeah You don't know Big Me? When I talk about it, put it on Never was it true. Jesus fucking Christ, Wilco. Where the hell is Zach Fax? 
He's Zach in Maine. Fax is gone. He's in Maine masturbating and building bombs. <laughs> that fucking little psychopath. I thought he was coming. <laughs> I thought he was coming back. But I thought Zach Fax was coming back. He'll be back. Oh, I have to say a programming note. Uh, what is it? The July twenty second, Sean, and 29th, right? July yeah, twenty second, twenty ninth. No Davy Mac Sports program. Just so everyone knows. Come back the sixth, not the fifth. And then we will be back the next week, but it won't be on Tuesday. It'll be Wednesday. Correct. Okay. You're you're going. You're taking a little time off for yourself. Yep, I am. I appreciate that. Portugal. You deserve it. You fucking sleepy fats bastard. <laughs> What? No, uh, you oh, deserve it. Fats. So uh, July 22nd, 29th, no David, but we are here next week, and then we return, uh, what, three Sixth. weeks from now or two weeks from now on a Wednesday. So there you go. That's Sixth. a programming note, if you will. Um, yeah, why not? Applaud. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Programming Ow. note, getting an applause. Ow. That's pretty so. LeBron James then, okay? That's what I want to talk about. Fuck this World Cup nonsense. America's out. Davey Mac is out. <laughs> I don't care anymore. Yeah, I know. That's a very nationalistic attitude, but I don't care. Yeah, I mean, I mean really, from this last game, Germany's going to win. I, mean, I don't care. Like, I don't care. Germany wins? Okay, fine. I hope Israel beats Germany. A little revenge. They're not in it, dude. <laughs> a little revenge for the shit that those you know, people were pulling in the 40s, right, Pat Beham? You know anything about the history of the world? No. Sons of bitches. What happened? Goddamn Holocaust, bro. Oh, this, that sounds bad. <laughs> it gets really bad. A lot of death. Not good. Uh, LeBron. <laughs> Not good. Let's sum that up. Hey, um, I said Try LeBron James laugh. would leave the Heat if they lost to the Spurs in the finals. I said LeBron will return to the Heat if they win a three-peat. Now, since the Heat lost, Davey Mack is pulling for this LeBron back to Cleveland story because I want to be the sports master. Well, I am the sports it master. It looks like Bosch is out. It looks like he's, he's get, or being offered at least the max contract from the Rockets. That's my exact conspiracy theory. He's because getting, what, eighty-eight million, or, or I think it was eighty-eight or ninety-two million dollars for four years for Chris Bosh. Chris Bosh is the lu- luckiest motherfucker on the planet because this guy is a good player. This guy is not worth twenty-four million dollars or however most of hundred million, million, hundred million, twenty-two dollars, million dollars. It's almost a hundred million dollar contract. Chris Bosh is not worth twenty-two million dollars. It just isn't. I mean that that is a ludicrous contract that the Houston Rockets and what how are they much doing? a how much money do they have. B what? what oh, they, they're gonna have to dump Jeremy Lin. Is, are the Houston Rockets the only team playing without a salary cap? How are they affording uh, Harden? When I read that, Dwight yeah. Howard and now twenty-two million dollars for this guy per well, year, eighty-eight. Well, Wait, per year, 22 million? 22 per yeah. year, 88 in total, 88 for four. Wow. Yeah. The reason why I think this is definitely, ha- well, is happening, perhaps, is because the latest uh, thing was that Bosch called LeBron last night. We do the show on Tuesday nights mostly, or sometimes Wednesdays, but as of Monday night. They had phone sex. They had phone sex. What? Yeah. They were, he was like, it's you know, exclusive. And he was like, uh, what are you wearing? <laughs> Bosch was like, I'm wearing my Toronto Raptors outfit. Mm-hmm. He's like, but you've been on the heat for four years. All right, enough. All right, let's, just, let's not go any farther now. Anyway. <laughs> um, Is he wearing just the jersey? Nothing. No, let's, let's just talk about sports. Uh-huh. Do you know how to play Sweet Emotion? <laughs> Remember that Aerosmith video? That was, that was, that was, that Aerosmith video put phone sex on the map. That's all Remember? baseline. Remember? Sweet all, Emotion? It's all baseline. And yeah. what was weird was Sweet Emotion, a song came out in like 74, and then they make a video for it in like 1990. Remember that? Well, what, who was that? Sweet it, it emotion. Really? Yeah, man. It was, it was 70s. A, that was the Days of Confused, right? Yeah, it was yeah. Days of Confused. Was it, was it a tie-in with the, with the movie? Exactly. No, no. It had no tie-in. It was just a flat-out... Maybe it was for a greatest hits... I bet you it was for a greatest hits album. All right. And they just took the video and said, we're going to put... You know, we're going to take one of our greatest hits and, and put out the thing. They could do, you know, uh, the other... The, the You know, walk this way! Because they had made a video with Run DMC. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, it looks like... Well, the, the, right, the weird thing is, with this LeBron 75? thing, that's what's apparently holding up Carmelo Anthony. We're recording this on a Tuesday. Yesterday was when Carmelo was supposed to make his decision about whether he was going to Knicks yeah. or Lakers well, or whatever. this was my point. The fact that he told he allegedly told Chris Bosh, take the deal, tells me he's out. If LeBron is telling Bosh, unless, how awesome would that be if LeBron wants Bosh off his team so bad? I'd rather have Carmelo there. <laughs> That he wants, he 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 wants Carmelo Anthony well, over having, Chris Bosh. He's probably having phone sex with Carmelo. So. Carmelo's a better scorer than Bosh, but does LeBron want any part of Carmelo Anthony? I wouldn't think so. Unknown. I wouldn't. I mean, I'd I'd rather have him off the Knicks to see what happens. 
I think Carmelo is making a, a very poor choice by leaving Phil Jackson in the New York Knicks. Mm -hmm. I, I, first of all, if he goes out to the Lakers, which is the strongest rumor, even the, everyone thinks he should go to the Chicago Bulls because he's, he would actually be perfect. They have a phenomenal defense, but they don't have one good score. Like a guy who, since Rose got hurt, you know, graham cracker legs. It's falling apart. Um, so all they need is a shooter. In steps Carmelo. That could be a championship team, but he's not looking at Chicago. Everyone's saying him and his wife wants to be an actress, want to go to L L.A. I didn't hear about the La La thing. Yeah, That's but the Lakers are just as shitty as the Knicks right now. Yeah, they're bad. They're in a ton of trouble. Yeah. And even worse, they're locked into this Kobe Bryant because they just can't uh, amnesty this guy for whatever reason. Kobe, they should. And Kobe was working Carmelo hard over the weekend to get him to sign. I don't know what the Lakers are doing. I, you know, uh, you could save so much. You could get Carmelo and LeBron by, put, by, by amnestying Kobe Bryant. His best years are totally behind him. I don't know, man. I think he's got about three good ones left. He, he'll, he'll still play, and he'll still average 22 points a game. But this is not the same Kobe Bryant of 2007, oh, God, 2008. You know, he's, he's broken down. Yeah, I mean, he was, he's, been, he's now been playing basketball since 1996, when he joined the league at the age of 18. Yeah. He's a 36-year-old gent who has played half of his life in the NBA. In wow. the NBA. That's 82 regular season games. That's amazing. I have a Subaru Outback for 16 years Plus a ton of, of long playoff runs, including seven trips to the finals. Five and two is his career record. So, uh, uh, you know, the guy is breaking down. Dwayne Wade looks ancient. Oh, he's Dwayne, he's Dwayne, 33, and he looks ancient. Dwayne Wade's still getting offered big money, though, from other teams. Too. You can see why the NBA is going so young these days. It just feels like the the older guys except, are breaking except, out earlier. Except that, well, 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 you say that, but except the Spurs just won the championship. Well, that is true. Which is just bizarre. Timmy and Duncan. Can you can you see them winning again next season? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You can, if they, They're going to win the next eight years, what? my opinion. I don't know about that. Yeah. No, they. I, I actually like the Spurs' chances a lot because they are saying now that Duncan and Popovich and stuff, they do care about their legacy, and the only thing that's not on their resume is a back-to-back championship thing it is when every two years that's all yeah but you know yeah i mean back-to-back -back championships is important when you won five championships since 1999 and really Who that cares? they seem to be the most stable of all the big they teams. are they're always every, in the conference every finals other, every other team is, is they're in a state of flux you could say it's about the spurs they're, they they've made the, the nba finals six times since 99 and they always seem to be in the western conference finals which is a far Superior conference. Oh Christ! Yeah. I mean, the Miami Heat are where they got annihilated. Uh, they got destroyed. Imagine had the Pacers somehow upset the Miami Heat and played the Spurs. They would have somehow gotten beat by the Spurs in three games. I think. <laughs> Let's just end it. Yeah, like three thirty-point victories by the Spurs, and the Pacers would be like, "No, we're not coming out on the court anymore." What, NBA Give them the trophy. For what? At least twenty points a shot. Twenty point lead like, yeah. for the entire game. Like the, it was never even close. The, he won just... that one close game, which I had one of the greatest sports master predictions for game two. I said the Heat yeah, will yeah. win yeah. ninety-eight to ninety-four. The final score was ninety-eight to ninety-six. Heat. And then yeah, some, you were wrong. some douchebag goes on Twitter. He goes, "Hey, you were off by two points." You were, yeah. Do you know how hard it is to predict basketball you games? Go over. The amount all the time. of combinations you, know how you can much have. Money I make off of Price uh, is right basketball rules. He's gambling. fine. You're that, good, Dave. You got it. Shout out. Thirty thousand points for United. Fuck yes. Wilco, zero. Come on, get it together. Do you have a, another song for us, like an original? Get closer. Get closer to the microphone. <laughs> shout out's bad now. Now that he got his thirty thousand points, he's gonna be telling people what to do. Go ahead. Go ahead, Wilco. Just play anything. anything you want. Just anything Whatever all. you want. Just play. play Just play a chord. Play a gun. Play, play one chord. Play, play a song. Hurry. Hurry. <laughs> yes. This oh, is my favorite on. song in the world. Just give me a break, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> There's a place that I know. His name is Pepper Stan. <laughs> And he lives in Astoria, Queens And he sits by himself And chain smokes in front of the computer As he wears his umbrellas Ah, Peppa wears his umbrellas to Betty Bye. 
Stairway of Pepper, right there, the Dave Max Sports Program. Wilco, you redeemed yourself. You did a great job. Badass, Wilco. You did a great job. You know, some random dude called me up today saying that you're part of a um, focus group. Who? I don't know, some dude. You you're, are? You're yeah. part of a focus yeah, group? Yeah, I'm part of a focus group. With, what's the focus group? For, about sports, just generically about sports and mm -hmm. basketball. Well, what, I mean, uh, tell me Survey more. Guy? I want to know. What questions and do you ask you? Apparently, I'm going to get 100 bucks on this Friday. This is great. I have to sit for an hour and a half someplace. Nice. Where? What time do we uh, show up? In Midtown? Uh, no, about two blocks off of Macy's. At a bar? Uh, no, it's not at a bar. It's <laughs> at, it's at Why a did my brain go there <laughs> instantly? Sports, sports bar. Maybe, yeah, uh, maybe that's it. Uh, I want a piece of this. I don't know. If the guy, if they call me back to say I qualified, I'll let them know. I got a guy for What you. time? What time is it? 5.30 to 7. If uh, I give you some answers, will you just mail me 50 bucks they did so I don't have to show up? They did ask if I was worked for radio or had any association. Did you say yes? I said no. Of course not. <laughs> oh, man. I said I was a short order cook. Then I am going to reply. <laughs> you did what? <laughs> By the way, what's you your specialty? You should be a short order cook. Yeah, what's your specialty? Talk no, about no. Like an occupation that fits someone perfectly. <laughs> Pepper should be a short order cook. I wouldn't mind that gig. Pepper, two eggs over easy. I'll no get problem. you a job as a short <laughs> order cook if that's what you want. I wouldn't but, mind that job. No, really? I'm saying, like, I knew the guy. I know some people in Jersey. I have a few diner connections. You want to be a short order cook, Really? Yeah. Welcome to Long Island. Yeah, but they, so haven't, they haven't emailed me yet, so I'm worried. You know how microwave onion rings? So much story. Yeah. You know, then you're in. You're in at the Blue Star Diner, baby, on Route 35. It's bank time. Boom! It's time to bank this up. <laughs> you want Blue Star Diner or you want Americana Diner in Shrewsbury on 35? Mm, what do you want? What's closer to Queens? Go with Americana. All right. <laughs> Bigger menu. You're only going to have to memorize 9,000 dishes. <laughs> yeah, ever, sure. Yes. Ever right. go to one, one of those Dave. Jersey diners where any they give you a menu, menu as, yeah. as yeah. thick as the fucking yes, Bible? Dave, that's any diner. Yeah. Any Greek diner. Jersey diners. Oh, Long Island, too. Give me a break. Did you no? I mean that seriously. New Jersey has the most diners by by far of any state in America. What? Yeah, well, we're famous yeah, for Queen, diners. Queens and Long Island have yes. a ridiculous amount of diners yeah, as well. I lived in Queens York. as well, there, Mister Astoria, and yeah. Queens diners sucked my ass. Oh, give me a break. They did. <laughs> Bel Air Diner, Neptune Diner, voted best diner in New York City. Bullshit. Whoa. I went to the Poseidon Diner one time. <laughs> I took a goddamn uh, bite into a, a, a goddamn grilled cheese. Uh, all of a sudden, I feel a pebble in my mouth. I'm like, what is this? Poseidon! It's just a shitty Greek diner is what it was. All I want to do is now go get drunk and eat at a Greek diner. Yeah, baby. Right. Let's go. Show. Let's get drunk right now. After right show, now. Pepper. No. Okay. Now, Sean. Okay. I'm ready now. Okay. What's that from? Boogie Nights. Okay. That's my favorite movie to watch. When, when he freaks up. out. I know. Mark. Marky Mark. Yeah, that's a great so, movie to watch when you're screwed up. It's my, my, my favorite. Like, it's just, I'm always like, just put on Boogie Nights. Can I tell nights. you something? I, 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 I hesitate to say this, but I'm going to say it anyway. It's something gay? Uh, well, it's a little <laughs> bit, yeah. <laughs> I've noticed something when I visit the smoke zone, which is when I jerk off... In the smoke zone. I am shooting... I'm not going to comment on whether I have or not. But let's just say sometimes Skinamax is on in the smoke zone at 12.15. In a nice cold uh, garage? Sweltering hot. Now. Oh, now it is. Now it yeah, being yeah, the yeah, summertime. Yeah, okay, yeah. No, it's good that you know your seasons, though. <laughs> um, you gotta get some AC for that. <laughs> but uh, this, is, this is true. We're a fucking train wreck. This is you true. Is there some sort of scientific evidence that links marijuana usage with... A ton of sperm release. In other words, absolutely. My jizz that I'm yep. shooting out. I'm like Peter North right now, flat out. I think I could be a pornographic male actor because I am getting giving porn money shots every single time. Even after I jerk off the one time at 12:15, I'll jerk off at 12:35, same load, and then again ask. at 1:15, same load. I'm just gonna ask. Do you what sleep? What is going on? A lot of ropes, Barely. So. I sleep. Uh, I go to bed about four. Get up for uh, at seven for work. So three times a day you jack it? No, no, no. That's just the beginning. <laughs> I, I, I jack it seven times a night. I can't help it. I have to jerk off every half an hour once I really get into my smoke zone zone, if you will. You know, I, I'm not talking about I'm just toking up a little bit. I'm, just talking, I'm talking David Max been sitting in there for four hours. What right. the hell is he doing? Well, odds are he jerking off, baby. That's, that's a lot of jerking off, dude. Yeah, I do it. I do it a lot. It's, a, it's an obsessive thing, probably. Yeah. That's more than like 15 years what, How would you explain that? You know about, you know, <laughs> drug side effects. No, I, I mean, what's the scientific? It. It's supposed to kill your sperm, actually, marijuana. Okay, all I'm doing, though, I'm just saying the cum. 
the semen itself. The ropes. I you under- got ropes. Oh, okay, ropes. I wasn't uh, sure if you knew what I was talking about. <laughs> oh, m- baby, I'm telling you, you could put one of my ropes outside the window and climb down oh, so right nice. into Times Square. For some reason, I find that so nasty. Come on, let's me and you. Climb down one of my cum ropes. <laughs> oh, God. Be like, hey, everybody in Times Square, this is better than the fucking naked cowboy, right, bros? He doesn't climb down 50-foot cum ropes. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. This is, I feel uncomfortable. So you don't have a scientific uh, reason for me? That's a true story, by the way. I don't. Di- I don't doubt it. Dude. Sometimes you feel. I feels like you doubt me, <laughs> Peppy. Don't what's doubt, the reason? Don't doubt his cum. I ropes. don't know. Stop asking me. <laughs> All right. Did you ask him about your cum ropes, though? <laughs> um, oh, you mentioned Carmelo Anthony. Did you see that the Houston <laughs> Rockets put uh, the number because he wears number seven for the Knicks? And they put him in a number seven jersey. And little Jeremy Lin's like, um, excuse me, I still am on the Houston Rockets. Oh, no, no, And no, I no, wear no. number seven. No, he's out, dude. He, Lin's out. They're going to sign Bosh. Bosh is going to take all that sweet cash. Because why wouldn't you? The I signing mean, of Lin was stupid. He's they at don't need the him. end of his career. Remember, they also have that, 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 the, uh, that uh, you know, blonde-haired guy, uh, Chandler Parsons or whatever, who became a, a very, very good player last year. Might have even made the all-star team, but a superb, superb shooter. Lynn's so going to end up on the box with Kid. You don't need Jeremy Lynn. That's, that's for sure. Stop it, Chris. Jeremy Lynn never, ever should have left the Knicks. Should have taken, they were offering him $20 million, and yes, the Rockets offered him 25 Sometimes, you got to know, the situation is perfect. New York City was bonkers about this God, kid. He could do, do no remember, wrong. Do you remember that? Too? We talk about this all the time on the show, but remember that two weeks when Lynn was just lighting it, it on was, fire? It was T-Bone Mania Lynn Part 2. Saturday! That was so much fun. I, re- I, I re- remember watching the Knicks-Toronto Raptors game, regular season game that I had not watched. I wouldn't care about that matchup. I haven't cared about that matchup in years. Who's watching a Knicks-Toronto Raptors game in the regular season? Not me. I had to watch because Lynn Stanley, we were at the height. And what does he do? Hits a three to win the game. I was in and I'm like, Lynn Stanley will never get better than this I was right in now. bars where the enti- there was like literally one TV in the bar in the entire bar. And bars that normally no one gives a shit about sports. You don't turn or your head on, on the background, you know. And he but has everyone was paying attention to it. And he has remember he scored thirty eight points against Kobe. Yeah, right. The be- and, and, and right before that, Kobe was like, "Who's Jeremy Lynn?" Yeah, like, he was, he was, he was Kobe talking was that the shit. Typical Kobe Bryant asshole. I had this discussion with someone, and I, the, 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 these these people are making me like into this LeBron James apologist, but. I don't understand why so why people are so hate LeBron so much, but then they're cool with Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant has always struck me as a spoiled brat, entitled. His dad played professional basketball overseas. This is a kid who was rich. He grew up in Italy. He's fluent in all this stuff. Then he parlayed that into being a spoiled brat in the NBA. Then there's the took whole shots at Shaq rape thing. Then he's he's on trial he, for rape. But he was exonerated, but still. The guy has had a whole life of being unlikable. And yet LeBron gets all of the goddamn fire. The best thing LeBron could do is go to the Cleveland Cavs. Why? You're not going to get to six championships in Miami. But if you go to Cleveland, I don't even think you're getting six there. But if you win just one, just one, and give that, t- that city its first sports championship in 50 years, you are Mr. Cleveland for the rest of your life. But thank is you. That, will go. But is that a, Unfortunately, he'll is never that a be nice the Spurs there. Moniker to have? Ask Mis- Drew Carey. Mr. He likes Cleveland? being Mr. Cleveland. Ugh. Right? Yeah. Hey, Drew Carey, go fuck yourself. <laughs> LeBron's coming back to town. You, actually, I like Drew Carey. And I like the job he's doing on Price is Right. I do. I think he's a good host. I think Davey Mack will be a better host. And I keep telling Price is Right, Match Game and Family Feud, listen, I'm ready to host your game shows. Why? I love those shows. Now, if Wheel of Fortune said, Davey Mack, we'll pay you $30 million to host Wheel of Fortune, you know what I'd say? I'd say, go take it up, your fucking ass, because Davey Mack hates Wheel of Fortune. Why? I suck at it, Pep. Can't solve a puzzle to save my life. You don't have to be good at it to host it. I'm just not good at Wheel of Fortune. I just sit there like, what the (laughs) hell is this? Every letter except for like a Y will be like on the thing, and I can't, uh, I don't know. It says, it says, it says, Tom Petty song is the clue. And it says, running blank a drum, running blank a drum. No one knows. 
But you ask me to participate in Family Feud, forget it. I'm the greatest Family Feud player of all time. If I ever w- was Wait. a contestant, I would just take myself and fuck my fourth Why, why isn't members. your family ever trying to get on, get on Family Feud? I don't know. Maybe because my parents are now in their 70s. It'd be Perfect. great to see TV <laughs> on there. Oh, I would kill it. I would kill it. I'd be like, yo, Steve Harvey! Me and you, bro! And then he'd be like, you know, name six things you'll find in a refrigerator. A head! What? <laughs> Just kidding, bro. It's like a Jeffrey Dahmer joke, dude. Oh, we're going to have to edit this out. By the way, that's my Steve Harvey impression. I was about to say, it sounds a lot like uh, all your other impressions. <laughs> sure does, dog. <laughs> oh, God. Where's that bat, Shano? <laughs> This thing's going fucking nuts. Hey! What? We got a lot of things coming up, especially a live next read? Tuesday. Yes, live read. LegalZoom.com. Well, folksies, 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 you've got to plan your future. You do financial planning. You get insurance. But to get real peace of mind, you've got to make sure your family and finances are legally protected. Right, Peppa? So where do you turn for legal help you can trust? I don't know. LegalZoom.com. Ah, I should have guessed that, Pep. They've been helping Americans get personalized wills, powers of attorney, and a living trust for over 13 years. That's what I need, baby. LegalZoom also helps protect your assets with LLCs, S-corporations, trademarks, real estate documents, and more. I need some real estate documents, Pepper, ASAP. The service was developed by some of the best legal minds in the country. And they make it painless for you to get the legal protection that you need. I love painless stuff, Peppy. Call- I am so sick of pain. Call or visit LegalZoom, and they will take care of you from start to finish. Ew. It's the modern way to get legal help. <laughs> uh, for special savings, make sure you enter the code MAC, M-A-C, in the referral box at checkout. Protect your family, protect your future at LegalZoom.com. LegalZoom is developed by top attorneys to provide self-help services at your specific direction. They're not a law firm. Legal help is furnished through vetted independent attorneys. LegalZoom.com! What up? What up? What for, LegalZoom? I actually have a document that I want LegalZoom to make legal right now. And it's going to be me suing Pepper for thinking that somehow Astoria has better diners than New Jersey. Because if Pepper knew anything, he would know that New Jersey is the diner capital of America. I do know something, that you're a Homer weirdo. A Homer weirdo? You know what I'm doing now, Pepe Hamburger? People who win prizes on my Twitter or Facebook, you can find it at Eastside Dave or EastsideDaveCountry.com. I'm now creating pieces of art for them. And I give it to him. Free of cards. Free, free, free of cards. <laughs> free of cards. Free of free cards. cards. Free of cards. No free of cards. charge. Free, free of charge. Ca- free of cards. Free of cards. Um, isn't that sp- uh, special of me? Now, do you still have the picture where the one guy had a large nose and then one guy had a large mouth and I called them suck and fuck? I might. I don't okay. Know you need to give that to me because I think I could auction that off. That was my fun. That's, to me, that's the Davy Mac, the, you know, Mona Lisa. Lisa. Yeah. Okay? Starry Night. That's the Davy Mac Da Vinci Code. Where me and Tom Hanks and a little French girl are running around yeah. with goddamn Gandalf mm-hmm. trying to find some <laughs> shit. Did you really like that movie? I actually love that movie. That's all. That's one of my smoke zone movies somehow. There's something really calm and serene about Paris. I think I'm going to move there Did at, you at read some it? point. Read yeah, you'll book? be able to afford that. <laughs> Did you read the book? Uh, if, if I'm a hobo in Paris, I'd say I'm going to own a bad shit. <laughs> Why can't I afford it? I'm sure they have poor people in Paris. Sure. I did not read the book. I just saw the movie. But I'm telling you, I really like the movie. I, I, I've been to Paris, and, and when I went to the Louvre, so like it, it was one of the best experiences of my life. And mainly because I couldn't understand how these paintings were so big. I'm like, they have pa- We're used to in America, you have a little painting. It's two feet by three <laughs> feet. It, in the Louvre, these paintings were like 20 feet by 30 feet. No, no. Yeah, how the gigantic. fuck could these guys even make paintings that big? How? Where, I don't even still... What room, like, was the thing on a wall? There was nothing else to do. A there ladder? No do they fucking, use a ladder? There was no TV or telephones or airplanes. There was a lot of loft space back there. There was nothing to do. Do they put, I'm saying, do they put the canvas, uh, the canvas on the ground and yeah. then they, they're, they're actually on the canvas well, as they never, paint? You never saw any of the Pollocks in, like, uh, MoMA or whatever? They stand on they're gigantic. Shit. 
No, I don't like Jackson Pollock with the fucking well, I'm just paint, saying, throwing paint at the wall. As an example of a giant painting. Listen, 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 listen. You're going to talk to me about artwork. Davy Mac likes one period. The Baroque period. His man is El Greco. Look it up. That's the best shit in the world. Until you look that up, don't talk to me. Jackson Pollock, go fuck yourself, you alcoholic piece of shit. You like Basquiat? Like Basquiat. Basquiat was okay. I mean, he, he made, he made p- paintings the size of that wall right But then he there. ruins Andy Warhol's uh, horse uh, <laughs> with a piece of white there. Did you ever see that movie? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Andy Warhol has yeah. the two horses, uh-huh. and Basquiat just takes the white paintbrush. And he's like, great. I loved it. Renee, why are you doing that? <laughs> yeah. You just David painted Bowie. white on my horse. You never saw Basquiat? Uh, I've watched documentaries on One of the best soundtracks lo- of all time. One of the best casts of all time. One of the best casts, one of the best soundtracks ever. That, that, this is what we should be talking about very, very next on yeah. The Watchers. Oh, very next? We right, are doing right, The Watchers. Next while. We are doing The Watchers tonight. <laughs> so tired. Because people keep asking me, and I keep saying we're going to do it. We've had a few. We were going to do it a week ago or two weeks ago, and we had uh, what some if we just personal st- issues. What if, what if, all right, what if in, in five minutes... Sean just hits the intro to the watchers and we just continue in for this half hour and just cut that half hour out and send it to me. Does that make sense? But then they're going to have the David yeah. Max Sports program will also have the watchers on the end of it. Well, no, that means also I don't get a chance to smoke any cigarettes. All right. Okay. Think about what you're saying. And also, why are we doing this on the air? Break. Jeez. Why don't we I'm just tired talk? And I go home. That's <laughs> why are we just talking about this on the I'm so tired. Um, Pepper. Hey, you. did you see uh, that video of that little uh, <laughs> stumpy bastard who was reenacting and shooting his oh, girlfriend? Oh, uh, Oscar for Stories. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it was great. <laughs> oh, I, my I, God. Who, who he kn- looked like Danny DeVito in Batman Returns. Who knew the stumps were so long? Ew. Stumps were gross. <laughs> Nasty, yeah. Are like we going to get in trouble if we make fun of stump people? I know it's a different radio climate these days. I don't know, but that There's was a, a we're fucking... We're a podcast. Th- we're different. That, that was a... Dis- dude, you were, it? were you freaked out? Oh, by the stumps? Yeah. Yeah, I was rude. I was like, wait a minute. This doesn't make sense anymore. I mean, uh, how long were I, stumps? Bet he did, I bet he did kill her from this Pass video. No, the stumps were long enough for him to walk uh, walk around on. Oh. However, oh. because they legitimately are stumps, this guy who's like six foot tall guy, uh, he was only six feet tall because of the fake legs. So he get, then gets shrunk to like four feet tall, hobbling around like the goddamn penguin. It's a, it's a creepy video. I, I found myself... Oh, it was real weird. It was very Twin Peaks-ish. It really was, Sean. I just need a goddamn midget talking backwards and boom, boom, boom. Agent Cooper's there. Batman. <laughs> what was that, Wilco? What'd you do? What were you trying to do there? The all right. Whatever you do, you got to commit. You got to go all in. See? Sean O knows the radio game. He's been doing this for a long time, my friend. Um, yeah, years. so that's, a, that's all the things. Um... What else? Well, the Clippers, their uh, trial are, uh, is beginning today with Donald Sterling. I'm bored by it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Shel- Shelly Sterling. Called, hot. You know, she's there, and she's an old person, and they both fuck each other and are horrible racists. What do you want me to say? Right. I'm bored with Donald Sterling as well. You know, it, it, the story was so much fun when it first came out. Yeah. But we, the only thing that's fun about him is when he just he keeps flip flopping. That's somewhat fun. The fact that he, every three days he decides I'm going to sue the NBA, then decides I'm yeah, not going to sue the NBA. It's boring. It's stupid. He's just old. He's crazy. He's got a billion dollars in the bank. Who cares? So what do you think they should do to him? Take him out back, shoot him in the head. I don't think we want to say that uh, someone should be murdered on our show. Well, do what to I him? I don't think that's necessary. I don't think he gives a shit. Do whatever. What do you do to me? I'm a 81 year old. You don't think he he would care me. about someone killing him, well, shooting him in the head? The killing thing, yeah. But oh, okay. I'm just saying in general. All right. What are they going to do to him? Nothing. You can't do anything to this guy. I'll finger his ass is what I'll do. All right. Be That's like, take this, you racist. Weird. On you piece of garbage. Say that on radio. Um, yeah. Wimbledon. No. Federer. Oh, Federer. I was watching the whole thing from start to finish, yeah. and though I like Djokovic, and I do like him, I find his personality to be fun, he's interesting, he's got a little charisma. It's not the Djokovic? Uh, no, no, it's just Djokovic. They the, call him the Joker. The G- That's how you can remember it. The D is silent. Yeah, the D is silent in Djokovic. Um, he's a big Steve Miller fan, too. He's very good. Now, he's, this is his seventh a- Grand Slam title he won, but Federer had him. I mean, I he, he, he wins that fourth set. He's got him in, in, in the fifth set, it looks like, at least. Or at least he certainly had momentum and absolutely the support of the fans. I mean, Wimbledon just wanted to see Federer win one last uh, tournament. I, dude, and I was surprised he, he did so well. I mean, I know he's great in the grass, he's great at Wimbledon, but just, you know, in, in recent years, he's just been broken down. 
Yeah, I was, and, I was pretty shocked. Nadal shy. has just been just, you know, dominating. You kind of feel like with Federer, if he's going to get one of these last uh, Grand Slam tournaments, especially Wimbledon, that everything has to break perfectly for him, and it did. Murray and Nadal were out early. He had to, you know, you're still going to have to beat someone good. He had to take down Djokovic. But he, Djokovic is too good at this point. He's 27, Federer's 33. Yeah. I mean, and like Federer and Nadal are even like a Sampras Agassi type situation. It's kind of, it's actually a pretty, actually pretty good parallel, whereas Nadal is the Agassi where he's just dominating on yeah. clay. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, Nadal is, is, I'm starting to think that he's getting all injured. And yeah. maybe his, 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 his best uh, years are behind him, too. Yeah, I think so, too. I, I'm sure he'll get two more in, in France, but. I mean, Nadal really, is stuck on what? 14, right? Yeah. Federer has 17. Djokovic. Seven. Has seven. And so let's say Djokovic has what? Seven years? Uh, no. Actually- and we'll say he has five years, so five times four is 20. He's not going to. He, that, that would mean he would have to win 50% of the Grand Slams. <laughs> no, but jo- Djokovic already has a Hall of Fame career. I mean, I mean, John McEnroe won seven Grand Slams. No, and no, we, yeah. we consider him one of the best tennis players of all time. Yeah, he'll be like top 20, Djokovic. Yeah, I think higher than that. I mean, Jimmy Connors, I think, has eight Grand Slam titles as well. Uh, Agassi has eight. I mean, Djokovic is going to get ten, right? He's going to get ten. Yeah, you, if, he's if going to win three barring more, barring some horrible injury, he he yeah. has a good chance of getting ten. Yeah. And real quick before we go, what about uh, this? Because uh, I know you love your uh, your fantasy guys and your football and this and that. But what, what's with this Cleveland Browns uh, uh, dude? Uh, the, Giant uh, football? Uh, no, 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 no. The uh, the wide receiver who keeps getting in. Um, oh, yeah, he's got legal by, he just got busted with a Dewey. Um, it's, Gordon, right? Yeah, J- uh, J- Josh Gordon. What's I mean, the deal? Li- literally, last season, he emerged as the second best wide receiver in the game. Unbelievable. And he's fi- already facing perhaps a one year suspension for recreational drug use. He might get a lifetime and ban. Top, while wow. he's facing this charge, he gets a DWI. He gets a DUI. Come on, bro. <laughs> It's so Do it, a Davy Mac thing. Smoke zone. You never even have an ambition to leave the house. And before get your 2001 Space Odyssey. For that DWI, he got pulled over uh, like a few weeks before that, and there was a dude with smoking weed with him in the car, and who had weed on him. Uh. This, he, this he's amazing. He's an amazing wide receiver. He's the shit. He's a, the Keith Richards, the goddamn Cleveland Browns. How does this happen? I mean, like, I you don't finally know. find yourself in a position to be like a professional. Said, Ask Aaron Let Hernandez. Still roll my as far, scumbag as, far as I know, he's still on his rookie contract. These uh. football guys take too many shots to the head. The game is too physical. And so they unwind by pounding booze and smoking weed. Quite frankly, I don't blame them, but just don't drive your goddamn car, bro. That's it. You are a millionaire. Get a limo! Get a driver. Get a goddamn limousine! Let's, let's cut the watchers. Let's if I go. If ever hit the lottery, that's the first thing I'm getting is a driver. You're on driver? How about this? <laughs> Just hire me. <laughs> no. You'll be the worst out Pay me $55,000, bro. <laughs> now, I can't promise I'm not going to pull a Josh Gordon. Yeah, I know. And drive you around drunk and high. Yes, that's my problem. But it'll be fun. We'll have lots of laughs together at, before at least, we die. At least I will be driving. All right. Yeah. Let's uh, hit the credits or whatever they, we call them in the, in the old business. <laughs> <laughs> And we are going to cut a Watchers now, a very special Watchers, and that's it. Thoughts and prayers to everyone in the radio community, especially Wilco. And by Wilco, I don't mean this fucking guy. You're kidding. I mean Jeff Tweedy and those other bozos. Because let's face it, Wilco is only Jeff Tweedy. No one cares about John Sturrett, the bass player. For Chris Peppa Stanley, Sean O'Barry, yeah. Wilco, Roy Schaefer, and me, Davey Mack. Yeah. Eastside Dave saying, Gala! <laughs>